everybody. Thank you so much. So I guess we need to start with my why. And my why starts with, I was born in New York City. And consequently, it was just right about the time that this movie was out. So it kind of goes along. Um, so I was, in, I was actually in New York for about seven years and then moved to Nashville. I grew up in Nashville there, had a blast. I can't carry a tune in a bucket, so I had to get out of Nashville because I can't sing at all. But I had a lot, really great time with a lot of people there that can sing well. So we like to have fun. That's why we do what we do, so that we have the money to do the things we like to do. This was a Kentucky Derby party that we throw. Every year we throw a Kentucky Derby party that is theme related, you know, with the hats, with the whatever. And this year we're doing Great Gatsby, so I'm kind of getting ready for that one and doing all the 1920 stuff. This was a trip to the Caymans with a lot of our friends, and this was my birthday party. And then I have three sons. The oldest son is Brandon with his little girl Maddie and Bryson. And then there's Russ and his wife, Bonnie, with their little boy, Paul. And my youngest son, Josh, and his fiance. These two are both Glendale police officers. This one here is a project manager with a water restoration company. And this one is a director with the YMCA. So they're all kind of busy with their lives and children and makes it, makes it very nice for all of us to get together and a lot of fun. This is Honey Badger. <laughs> she goes everywhere with us. Uh, she gets really upset on Wednesdays, though, because she has to stay home. She goes to work with us every day at the shop. And, but on Wednesday, and we do that because we're usually both there. When there's only one of us there, it's a little difficult to keep up with her and everything that's going on in the shop. So on Wednesdays, she has to stay home. And I look at her as I'm walking, as I'm getting ready, and I say, it's Wednesday. And she goes into her own bedroom, gets up on the bed, and looks out the window. And so she knows what Wednesday means. I have a cabin up in Crown King. Love to ride my quad up there and do things with, with family and friends. This is a big part of my why, though, the Free Will Foundation, which I'm a fairly large part of. We raise money for injured military and their families. We had an auction last weekend, and that auction raised $87,000 in one day. So it was, it was quite successful last year. And it, the thing about it is no one on the board gets paid. There's no one within the board taking a salary. Everyone volunteers their time to raise the money for injured military and their families. The money goes to support Jared Allen's foundation, building homes for injured military and their families, Knights of Heroes, which is a foundation that has a kids camp for kids who have lost a parent to the military. So every year there's a 430 mile bicycle ride that we do that raises money as well. And this guy in the middle here in the wheel bike rides all 430 miles every year. Um, it's not in there real straight. So I'm going into business now. When I went through my MSP training a few weeks ago, Nate Dominguez told us, pick one part of your business to talk about. So today I want to talk about vehicle wrapping and what that means to you as far as advertising and those types of things. So 98% of in-car audiences indicated that they remembered or noticed advertising on the side of a car. 30% um, of mobile outdoor viewers base buying decisions on ads that they see. 96% of Americans travel in a vehicle uh, either as a driver or a passenger in the past week. Mobile advertising is the most effective and efficient form of outdoor advertising. So companies with a fleet of vehicles increase their presence and recognition within their market as seen by these statistics. Right now, we have companies tell us that they're getting way more business than they ever had before because th their whole fleet of vehicles is out there advertising for them every single day. You're all over the whole town. You're everywhere. Why not have people see you, know what you do, and be a well-respected company out there that people can find? Just put nice graphics on there. 
just a quick video here. Can you uh, cue this up? This is how a vehicle gets wrapped. It's just kind of a short little video. It runs through it really fast. Everything gets stripped first. Everything that's on the sides of the car, on the back, any antennas, any badges that are on there, any anything. The material is cut in huge pieces. And it, it doesn't happen quite this fast, though. <laughs> but it all goes underneath. So somebody who really hates the color of their car. What's that? I'm going to show you. Yeah, but yes. Um, and people that are leasing cars now, they, because this actually protects your paint and comes off after three years with no issues. And so you can, you know, do this, make your car any color you want, take it off, turn it in on the lease, and you don't have the damage that you do otherwise. But yeah, it's really kind of funny to watch in the shop because it's great big sheets that go on. And then all of the finishing work gets done. What's that? Were they wearing green suits or something? <laughs> yes. You gotta green screen the boys. And actually we can oh, I can move forward from this, can't I? Because you kind of get the idea there. Um, so sorry, uh, this is this is one of the companies that we do work for. This is the way their trucks start and what used to be out on the road. Then we went down this route with them, which makes them much more visible and allows people to see that they do blown in insulation. This is how you reach me. This is what I do. All this says is the company name. Company name doesn't really get you anything if someone doesn't know what you do and how to contact you, which is your basics that you have to have when you're trying to market to people. So we have that. That's the back of it. So, and it's funny because Banker has told us that they're getting phone calls all the time. Hey, did you know there's a guy in the back of your truck hanging out when it's going down the road? <laughs> you know, we know people aren't, people aren't very bright. So, uh, but, that is, but it's very eye-catching. We also did a plumber's truck that has a guy sitting on the toilet. His door looks like a toilet and it looks like he's driving sitting on a toilet. So, um, <laughs> these are some of the other things that we do just to, you know, kind of close it up for you. We do wall scripts. So you go into somebody's house and you see the live, love, laugh, you know, what we do, we can do those. We do posters, X stands, retractables. We did these retractables here, tabletop displays, canvas prints, decals. And I left all of that on your, on the table as well. Pretty much if it's printed. We're not really paper printers. We are large format printers, but if That's who we're looking for, and that's who's a good referral for us. Okay, so four, three, two, one. Thank you very much. <laughs>